I just like yeet. <laughs> yeet. <laughs> beautiful people them and welcome back to another video y'all remember when i used to do all my talks in my car on my way to work or at work this feels so nostalgic and it used to be hitting because back then when i used to talk in my car it used to be the only time of peace and freedom that i felt and it was usually right after i finished listening to my worship song on the way to work right after i listened to my personal development so i so i used to be so hot and ready to go ham uh, so i figured i'll just do a little throwback and do a little chit chat in my car since i have to wait now i already told you earlier this year in my first video that i don't know what my youtube channel is gonna be and i'm just gonna go wherever my heart takes me and wherever i feel compelled to go i just want to be very intentional and i don't want to do it just to do it so i planned out my whole month of content january and for february and i followed it to the t every single week except this week because what i wrote down for this week i'm just not feeling it in my soul and I'll do it at another time. But what I am feeling in my soul is what I'm about to talk to y'all about, okay? It's called intentional limitations, right? I felt this, like this was about to happen. This was about to come. I feel like, or God foreshadowed this moment in my life since last year. Hold on. Don't lose me. Don't lose me, right? I'm going to show you something that I wrote last year. I'm going to show you something that I wrote last year. I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere here. I wrote that August of 2021. You know, I'm a person who writes everything that I'm feeling. And at that moment when I wrote that, I felt so passionate about that, right? That I'm just tired of living a life where it's just chasing the next high. The next high of a life, like accomplishments, oh, winning, like acknowledgement, validation, all of those things just feel good for the moment, right? It feels good for the moment. It feels good for the week, for the month, for a couple months. But then when all of that goes away, what do you have, right? I just feel like my life up on, until this point has been, I place a lot of my values and a lot of my security on what I can accomplish because I'm an overachiever and I know how to work hard. I know how to get the results I want based on the efforts I put in. That's the best example I grew up with. My parents have the best work ethic and they just instilled that into me and all my siblings, right? But it just got to the point where working became my identity. Grinding became my identity. And for some reason in this season of my life, that doesn't sit well with me anymore. I just grinding cannot be my identity now don't get me wrong that doesn't mean that we're not gonna work hard for what we want we're not gonna be passionate in pursuing our goals relentless in pursuing our dreams like taking the leap of faith but imagine a life where your whole entire identity is work like grind like that really just hit me Right? And then intentional limitation became something. Right? It became something. First word is intentional. What did I tell you at the beginning of my restarting this? That my year, my year of the word was intention. Right? And then that came to me in December of last year, 2021. Then I started listening to this new sermon series with Pastor Mike. And then he said, the year of the the word of the year is intentional limitation and then in august of 2021 was when i said that my life cannot just be chasing the next high and i just realized that not because you can that doesn't mean you should that's it not because you can that doesn't mean that you should and this is literally the hardest concept for me to grasp 
what you mean by I can and I shouldn't? What you mean by I want to grind but I shouldn't? What do you mean by I want to obsess over these passions? Like, it's good things. It's not bad things, right? What does that even mean? What does it mean that because I can, I shouldn't? So this is where I find myself battling right now, right? This is like a vent session at this point, but this is what I actually want to talk to y'all about this week. Intentional limitation. Because you know what else I realize? A lot of the times, I realize that a lot of the times in my personal life, I tell myself I'm not going to be the first person to jump and help everybody all the time because I go through very frequent seasons of burnout. As much as I love to grind, I love to help people. I'm so passionate about those kind of stuff. Mentorship, I burn out, right? And I still find myself doing it because it's just one more thing, right? I take on another role because it's just one more role. But before you know it, it's one role. It's two role. It's three role. It's four role. It's five roles. Then you find, then I find myself with 10 little roles that add up to burnout. So now I'm in the season of my life where it's intentional limitation. How do I know what I'm supposed to put my energy towards, right? How do I know what am I supposed to be grinding towards? Like, what is a grind for me right now? What is, like, where do I draw the line now? Like, where do I find a balance between all areas of my life? Who is Shade outside of her love for grind and accomplishments and accolades? Right? So I just find myself going through a lucky identity crisis right now. And I've had this crisis in my short 25 years of life twice. Let's go through back to the first time. The first time I had this crisis was back in undergrad, right? I remember most of my life, I wanted to be a doctor, if y'all didn't know that. Since I was three years old, since I could just remember telling myself I wanted to be something, I knew I wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to help people feel better. And I'm not going front. A part of why I wanted to be a doctor because doctors signify like the most brilliant people. That's all I knew back then, right? That's a lot, all a lot of us knew or know right it signifies the highest people the biggest accomplishment the greatest accolade it signifies discipline smart it's like it signified so much that's why i wanted to be it and i pursued that all of my college life well most of my college life right i pursued it i realized i was kind of not feeling it my first two years of college but i ignored it because if you know anything about me when i say i want to do something sis sis let's get comfortable when i say i want to do something there's nothing that's really gonna change my mind i'm not gonna turn back because i've just come so far right so i remember junior year of college me being so unhappy i turned back to my bad relationship with food i was eating three four five boxes of pizza every single day every single week well i was eating four or five boxes of pizza every day every week I just I just completely disregarded my physical health. I was going through many panic attacks, anxiety attacks. So I was consumed in my studies, but it made me so unhappy. Until literally the summer before senior year, when you're supposed to figure it all out, is when I was like, wow, Shade, you're unhappy. <laughs> you're really unhappy. Like, no more fighting it. No more hiding it you are unhappy and i remember telling my mama and my mama was like girl baby i only want a happy daughter i don't need a doctor daughter and i remember just going into self-identity crisis because i i just consumed myself so much in being a doctor when i admitted to myself and the people i cared about i no longer wanted to do it i just fell into a crisis what is my life like what 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 next what now and I just attach everything to a grind. Long story short, I, I got provided, right? I found it, fell in love with my health journey, started getting results physically, which helped me mentally, emotionally. Then that opened the door to be coached, to be a coach. Then I gained the confidence to start to try to discover what I wanted to do in this life. 
then I decided to take a leap of faith and do a teaching program to figure it out. Then, boom, I felt a sense of wholeness and accomplishment. But guess what? Guess what? It was centered around my grind of coaching. And then I found myself obsessing over coaching, which I absolutely love. I can know that I love it because I know what I didn't love. Right? And now I'm here again. Like, God is like, yeet. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> right so i don't know the purpose of this whole discussion that we have in i don't remember what i came to tell y'all about i just felt like i had this ramble in my heart since yesterday and i needed to let the ramble out i'm in a season of intentional limitation not because i can that doesn't mean i should i will no longer no longer allow busyness to to stop me from healing i will no longer i will not allow busyness to stop me from building meaningful relationships with myself my friends my family with god with anything else in my life i just cannot and i am learning to be okay with that because this is tough it's so tough for me to slow down literally physically or just try to slow down my mind to be more mindful yeah where do y'all find yourself we are literally just in the first what seven weeks of the year and this is how i feel mentally i must say this time this epiphany this coming to myself moment is not the same like the last as you can see the last time i didn't have this level of awareness to even realize what was happening with with soundness i find myself being sad some days but most days i'm I have joy, right? Most days I have joy even when I'm sad. So I'm okay with that. So where are y'all today? I know I asked y'all in January, what's your word for the year? I This is just a quick check-in right now. This is just a check-in. I just wanted to update y'all. Based on your word for the year that you told me or that you decided on, is it revealing things in your life like it's doing for me? Like my word of the year intention literally took life in human form like it took up life i did not know that the power of the power of word and speaking stuff the power of language right yeah i'm a short dry now but yeah where do you find yourself now february we're almost into we're almost done with the first quarter of the year do you feel like your life has gotten more meaning do you feel like you're making progress do you feel more attached to yourself or more detached from yourself? Do you feel a sense of accomplishment? Do you feel at peace? How are you feeling? Checking in. One girl to the next person. Checking in. And just remember, I said this already, but remember to check in on people. You're a tough friend and you're not so tough friend. But yeah, that's a ramble. Thank you, my beautiful people, for coming out to another video. This has been one of the most spontaneous things I've ever done, right? This was not my plan. I didn't plan to do this in my car to rent, but I actually like that. But anyways, thank you for coming out to another video. As usual, if you love it, go ahead and press the like button. Go ahead and share. Go ahead and subscribe. We will continue being consistent, but we will also continue to be mindful and do everything with intention. Until next time, bless up yourself and see you in the next video. <laughs>